Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 News Headlines. This week in Waltham, the City Council had committee meetings, and for the first time, all of the meetings were recorded by WCAC. Not all were live streamed, but they're all now available on WCAC's website. However, the videos are not captioned, and it's not clear if there's a plan to caption them, so we'll be discussing that more on our debrief show. In Monday night's meeting, the Committee of the Whole voted to transfer land at the Waltham Field Station, which is the property that includes the Waltham Community Farm, to the care and custody of the city's Consolidated Public Works Department. Councillor Darcy raised an objection to that um, that led to a somewhat contentious discussion, so we'll give you some more background on that in our debrief show. Also in the Committee of the Whole meeting, we learn more about the plans for the City Council's Master Plan Committee. You may remember this is a new committee that was announced back in January when the new council convened, but since then we haven't heard much about them. We now know that they're planning a series of meetings to get feedback from the community organized by Ward. The first one will be for Wards 8 and 9, and it will take place this coming Tuesday, September 27th at 6 p.m. at the Community and Cultural Center. In the Rules and Ordinances Committee, there was a discussion of solar carports that got a very enthusiastic reaction from the councillors. So we'll discuss that on our debrief. And in fact, we're going to have Christine Mackin on to give us some more background on what are the city's rules about solar panels currently. This week at the school committee meeting, Assistant Superintendent Sarah Kent introduced a new section of the system's website where they are in the process of uploading information about the school's curricula to make them accessible to the public. The idea is to increase transparency and collaboration with the community and to help ensure consistency across grade levels. This is a work in progress, but you can already find some of the curriculum materials online. We have a lot to talk about this week, so I'm not going to give the full list of upcoming meetings and events, which you can find at the Waltham subreddit, but I did want to mention this coming Saturday is the second critical mass event for Waltham at 1030 a.m. It's starting at City Hall. If you'd like to take a nice, safe group bike ride while also protesting and drawing attention to the lack of safety for bikes in Waltham, um, feel free to join in 10.30 a.m. at City Hall. Also, next Friday, September 30th at 5 p.m., there'll be a Day Without Us protest um, at the Waltham Common. That's a protest for bodily autonomy in response to the overturning of Roe v. Wade, and we're going to try to give you some more background on that in next week's debrief show. So the next thing we post will be the debrief. Thank you very much, and stay tuned.